everybody. We just got off a great team win versus TCU yesterday. It was a pretty great game, but as y'all may know, my best friend, brother, and roommate Denzel kind of got dinged up. So I decided to treat him something special uh, to take him to the one and only Alamo Draft House to watch Venom 2. So we're going to get a little review going and tell y'all what we think about it. So, Dens, what are you looking forward to going into this movie, man? Looking forward to a lot of action. You know, Venom is a ruthless character, so I'm looking for a lot of violence, action. Yes, sir. Gore. I'm not crazy about that, but I think that's just kind of what Venom brings to the table. So, I'm actually interested in it. Yeah. Let's see it. Yeah, so here we have their menu. I know Coach Flood and our nutritionist, Craig, just wants me to look at the salad part, but. Some of the things I like getting here are kind of like the buffalo cauliflower, which I highly recommend uh, the bottomless popcorn, uh, as well as, move to this side, uh, kind of like the Amy pepperoni pizza or some entrees like, uh, I was gonna say fish and chips, but that's a hell no for me, but uh, where is it at? Here we go, like chicken tenders, for example, but they have a wide variety of stuff here uh, that I do highly recommend getting again, but Alamo Draft House is the place to be to watch your movies. Yo, so we just got back from practice. Uh, so Denzel, how you feel about Venom, bro? I thought it was short, shorter than I expected than the first one. Yeah. But I did enjoy the action, the comedy in it, and just seeing Venom and kind of learning more about him and his character. He's kind of a funny character. So I enjoyed that part of it. And um, I really liked the ending, but I'm not going to. Yeah, spoil it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to spoil it. But like, kind of like you, bro. Like, I agree. Like, that movie was pretty. That movie was pretty fast. Mm. Like it was like what ninety minutes, but it was. It didn't even give us enough time to like. They had like one huge fight, and that was it at the end. Yeah, you know, like right. ma majority of the movie, like spoiler alert, like Venom is not even in Tom Hardy's character. But exactly. But you know, if we would break the movie up, what would you give it? Uh, I would give it. I was engaged most of the time. Yeah. So I'd probably give it a solid. Seven, maybe seven point. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do the same thing. Yeah, it's not something I would like encourage y'all to go watch, but it's like just for the sake of it's again with the spoiler, spoiler alert, like the post credit scene kind of you know connects it to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's a crazy spinoff. Honestly, I so, didn't, I didn't expect that to be honest, just because of Sony and Marvel and what they got going on. But no, it was really, it was really interesting just to see more Venom and, you know, Carnage is a big deal in the Marvel Universe, too. So yeah. seeing him and his character, who, what was the character's name? Uh, who, Woody, Woody Harrelson? I mean, the, the... Like the character in the in the movie? Uh, I forgot. Something, uh, his, I, that, that character. That Clark, kind of, uh, Cletus Cassidy. Cletus, Cletus, Cletus yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that, that, it was kind of cool just knowing his, his uh, story and background and... I don't even know the character's name. His girlfriend? I don't even know that. Uh, apparently, it's called the first time I heard about her name is Echo. Echo? Yeah, I, 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 I never Sounds heard. Sounds like an X Men type. Yeah, of, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I've never heard of her yeah. before. Yeah, but it, it was really interesting just seeing all of that and how how it all unfolded in the end. So yeah. I think you should definitely watch it as it will it will tie into the Marvel universe. So instead of watching it. After all that unfolds, I say just watch it now. That way you get it out of the way. Yeah, kind of like Denzel. Like, I just recommend you watch it just because of the connection. Like, it's not something about, like, oh, y'all got to watch this right now. But definitely for the connection and how it ties into Spider-Man. And then Spider-Man Far From Home coming out in December. Y'all should definitely go watch mm -hmm. it. So, so if y'all may not know, you know, Denzel is having season-ending surgery uh, next week. And uh, he just wanted to say, uh, talk to you guys and just share, share a few words. So you got it, bro. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody again. I know I've thanked y'all so many times on Twitter, but uh, the support I have gotten and received from everybody, all the prayers, it's it's meant everything to me to make sure I keep going. Um, it is devastating just because of my circumstances, and this is my last this is my last season as a Longhorn, and knowing I, that was my last week of practice, my last game, you know, with the shoulder pad and helmet it's it's really it's devastating but i'm in good spirits and i appreciate all the prayers all the support y'all are really making it uh easier for me to just keep and so yeah so from the bottom of my heart uh thank you guys uh it's meant the world to me and you will see me again you'll see me again soon so yeah thank you guys please make sure to like subscribe and comment whatever it is Comment, wishing Denzel luck, prayers, anything with help. 
Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Appreciate it.